Okay, well, I went a different direction with my pulse motor um, circuit. I turned it into a real motor, and that's the uh, coil, the air cork coil, mounted inside that plastic box with the neodymium magnet there. And then I put uh, regular ball bearings on it on the shaft and made a, a really a motor out of it. And then Maggie is going to be operated with a little ball in her mouth. It's a neodymium sphere, a 3 8 inch neodymium sphere. And as that magnet spins around there, it rotates that magnet and makes her g work, makes her eyes go, induces a current. And this is not induction. This is a, a flux field um, interaction between the two magnets. Now, on the circuit tonight, I have pulled the diode, the little uh, 1 in 9.14 diode, and I replaced it with an LED. And sometimes you can get away with this if your voltages are small enough and it won't burn it out. And uh, the, the source is a super cap tonight, and the super cap has got two, uh, two volts on it. It's a 10 farad uh, 2.3 volt super cap. Now, let me show you how this works, because I found out it will go into self-oscillation, which was kind of fun. Let's see if I can get it to go here. Okay, there it goes. You see Maggie's eyes are lit up. I've got this LED acting like the diode now. And there's my motor spinning away. And there's voltage on the cap dropping down. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop this and watch the LED. Still going. I'm going to turn this down because that's awfully bright. You might be able to hear that. You can see the voltage on the cap is going to be draining down a lot slower now. This is like a jewel thief now. Basically, what I got is a jewel thief going on here because I've got a 1.76 source and I'm lighting up a 3 volt LED. Very bright. And that's running on that super cap. And of course, that. Uh, circuit there is just acting like a jewel thief. But I did want to share that with people, that this circuit uh, will self-oscillate quite nicely and it works quite well. Let's see if I can get it to start up again here. Here it goes. Maggie to go here. Here goes Maggie. Here goes flashing light. The voltage on the cap dropping down. Anyway, something I knew I was wanted to share. By the way, if everybody uh, who is trying to make this, remember that the circuit diagram was wrong, and I put annotations on all the uh, displays of the circuit. And this uh, B1 uh, start wire goes to the negative rail. It does not go to the diode. Okay, that just stopped. You can see it's still oscillating, running away. And that's got 1.3 volts on it now. Anyway, that's the show for tonight. The uh, pulse motor and self-oscillation.